hold. So if you take this off, right, um, this this thing comes off of there, comes out, and then there's a rectangular plate under there, which is a hole in the boiler. And you push it in and you turn it sideways and it comes out, and that's how you can see what's inside there. You can reach your hand in there or your head, and you can clean and you can inspect, you know. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. No, I was gonna say I've seen that open and stick my hand in. There's a, this. There's another there. And then there's a yeah, and then there's another, there's two more around the front, and then there's two more in the smoke box uh, front, you know, behind the door. What's this one? So these are called tricocks there. What these are, right, if this glass were to break on us or if it, if it stopped communicating with the boiler for any reason, when you open these up, right, they would shoot water. Right, it, or if the water is underneath, it shoots steam, so you can tell how high the water is by what comes out of there. This is the break. That's exactly right, yeah. You can move it, it's just, it's hard on right now. Ah. Yeah. I have it on so the thing doesn't roll around, you know. Because if just a massive wind came. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the see, I was going back and yeah. forth. It'll it'll probably roll itself down the street, <laughs> you know, if, if we didn't have that on there. Uh, I probably wouldn't have it. Yeah. Sure. I got to get a set of chocks for this thing, wheel chalk. You know, you know those blocks you put under the wheels is kind of door stopper like thing, you know. So you gotta, you gotta trace your systems. You know, you always gotta follow something to, to where it goes, and then you figure out what that thing is, and then you go to the next thing, and you figure it out until you got your whole system diagram in your head there, and you draw it. This one. Yep. Connects to that, and then it goes down, and then well, first this. Yep, exactly. There and up there. Yep. Or through there, up, and then go back down. Yeah, which direction it's going, and then and then remember what happens when you close that valve up there, and it can't go down that pipe no more. What happens then? Yeah, where's it go? Uh, in the steam. Well, the heater. Right, and then and then where's it go? I don't. Know. In the boiler. Yeah. Goes in the heater, goes through it, down there to the check in the boiler. But you got the first part right. Yeah, it's got, you know, it's got stuff in there that we might need for this, so I just kind of don't close it until we're all done. Best jungle gym ever, right? If this wasn't all hot. Well, you know. It wasn't tight. <laughs> the trouble is, I always got frustrated when they weren't. You know, I'd see some of something like this in parks, and uh, and I, it would just be dead, and it would be missing pieces, and, you know, I would, little old me would try to get it going, and, uh, of course, couldn't. At least not in those days. <laughs> I've done a few of them since, but... Are you still in school? Nah. No, I uh, never had that much time for school. Do you have to go to college to be an engineer? Uh, no. <laughs> in fact, I think you want to go to college if you, uh, if you want to be a bad engineer. You know, this stuff you learn... You learn... Uh, by doing, you Our know. Go wants to be an yeah. I mean, they'll tell him that you can't uh, you can't do it without the paperwork, you know, that the college gives you. But uh, I've been proven that that's a total lie. It, it, a yeah, they make it hard, but uh, when they see, when you go out there and you show them what you can do and you can solve problems that the people with the degrees from the schools can't solve, then uh, then they start paying attention. Good 
for now. Yes, sir, I'd say so. And you're a good fireman, you know, so... Oh, wow, we got a big one, though. You know, thanks to you. Thank a little bit of me. <laughs> More grits would. Well, I mean, you're the one. You're the one doing it and putting it in there and arranging it, you know. So we're we're doing real good in that regard. Let's see what we got for water. Doing pretty good there. All right. Again, thank, yeah, thanks for being gentle with that handle. That's an old, that handle is as old as the engine itself, 143 years. Not, none of it? Whoa, what did you have to put on? Uh, so I had to put on a new wedge in the big end bearing in that rod. I had to, but it wasn't much, I'll tell you, in the way of new parts. I, I reused everything, all the old parts and pieces, because you can't, I mean, there was nothing really all that wrong with it, except the big end wedge with a strip thread and, uh, I'm trying to think. A couple of new nuts, because we had some missing nuts and a screw, but that was it. 